Hi, it's Dwyer. Tuesday, June the 18th, 2019. Gamblersadvisory.com, free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk about Maris Breedis' victory over Glovaki. Let me just say, this isn't a Sour Grapes video. We picked Breedis, collected. I'm not going to give the casino the money back. But this outcome, this fight needs to be revisited. Right? The outcome cannot stand. If the WBSS is going to maintain its very high level of credibility, they're going to have to ask for this fight to be replayed. Sometimes a fighter has a bad day. That's the fighter's problem. But when the referee has a bad day, that should be our problem. Now, I'm not here to say that either of these fighters is a Boy Scout. The problems start when Glovaki throws a punch at the back of Breedis' head. Now, for some reason, the guys announcing the fight on the zone seem to overlook that illegal punch. Right? For some reason, the referee, the people at the event, seem to overlook that illegal punch. It's so bad that Breedis, who then throws an elbow in retaliation, gets a point deducted. Now understand, as crazy as that sequence is, it's not the disqualifier that what happens after that second round is. The bell rings. Now, from time to time, I'll be here online saying, gee, the judges must be blind. Right? Well, some of you at times have said this referee was blind. Well, here, the referee who had an incredibly bad day, again, it's Robert Byrd, was blind and deaf at times, it seems. Right? He doesn't hear the bell. Right? After... The bell sounds to end the round. The fighters continue fighting. Breedis lands a hellacious right uppercut. It's hellacious. Well, that's not the worst part. Glovaki, who has to deal with the consequences of that punch after the bell has sounded, also has to deal with the next right hand Breedis throws which knocks him to the canvas. Folks, you can't unring that. If Glovaki felt any effects from getting hammered and then getting dropped after the second round, the fight's tainted. So, of course, in the third round, here's a shocker, Glovaki gets knocked down again. Gets up, can't continue. Bird waves it off. My point to you is, once a fighter has been hit hard, after the bell has sounded, in other words, illegally, in my opinion, you cannot trust the integrity of the outcome. Right? Right? Quite frankly, I feel that if these fighters fought again, I would take Breedis again. His right hand, especially in the third round, is masterful. Just key on it. He's throwing right uppercuts. He's mixing it up with right hooks. Same hand. He's incredibly accurate with both. Very effective. I believe he's solved how to deal with Glovaki's southpaw stance. But whether or not I feel that Breedis would win the rematch is really irrelevant to whether or not this fight was tainted. Glovaki clearly gets hit hard after the bell sounds for the second round. Robert Byrd, the referee, has admitted that he didn't hear the bell. <laughs> right? In other words, the punch is thrown after the second round are the result of referee error.
This isn't the stray one punch after the bell sounds. No, the way the event was conducted was improper. So if we are going to find out who the best cruiserweight is in the tournament, the only way to do so, in my opinion, is by ordering the rematch. Now I'll agree, Unier Dordikos, who has legitimately made the finals, is going to have to wait. He's going to have his training camp disrupted, right? Because his opponent is supposed to be the winner of this fight, and these two guys are going to have to fight again. I agree there's going to be fallout. But if Dordikos wants that finals to have the credibility, the integrity it deserves, then he himself should want a proper resolution of this Breedis Glovaki fight. We didn't get one here because the referee, Robert Byrd, an excellent referee, but an older referee in his 70s, right? Robert Byrd made mistakes that, in my opinion, made the outcome of the fight lack the integrity it would have had had the fighters been stopped at the end of the second round. Right? Understand, that would mean that Glovaki goes into the third round without being knocked down a second time in the second round. Right? Because keep in mind, earlier in that round, he's actually dropped. So think about, think about how bad that second round is. He's dropped, gets up, survives the round, only to have the bell ring and Breedis continue to throw punches. Now he's throwing punches back, he has to defend himself. He gets dropped a second time. You and I know that there's a big difference between getting dropped once in a round where you say, okay, you get off the canvas, you have time to clear ahead, and then getting dropped after the bell and needing to recover. Right, the fact that that second knockdown was improper to me deprives the outcome of the fight of its integrity. Now I understand there are people on all sides of this issue. I'll agree with everyone who says that Glovaki is the one who started the illegality with the clear rabbit punch earlier in that second round. Right? I'll agree. But let's also agree that Robert Byrd makes terrible mistakes. You tell me how Breedis gets hit with that rabbit punch and then gets a point deducted from him. Then, of course, what's going on with the end of the round where the referee, by his own admission, doesn't hear the bell? Folks, I'm telling you, the bell is as loud as any bell I've heard in boxing. Right? Also, I know there's some of you who feel that both fighters heard the bell. Both fighters made a decision to continue to throw punches. Now, whatever animus there is between the fighters, whatever ill will, because of the rabbit punch, because of the elbow, understand that fighters don't get the opportunity to make up the rules as they go along. Right? Fighters don't get to say, hey, you know what? This 10 count today is going to be a 12 count. Right? Fighters don't get to make agreements where they disregard the referee. Right? They're throwing blows. The ref says, stop, the round's up. And then the fighters say, hey, we're going to change the rules here. Right? Either this is a legitimate boxing match in a WBSS tournament where the public has been told of the rules ahead of time. Right? Or this is something else. The fight that took place was something else. The outcome can't stand. I'm calling for a rematch. Let's see what the sanctioning bodies do. It's up to them. right? Boxing has had stranger chapters. But I just don't see how a guy can get not that. First he gets drilled. Then he gets dropped. And none of that action was supposed to take place because it was after the rounds ended. 
right? You can't have that. Then have the guy, then have the guy the next round come out woozy, less than a hundred percent, get dropped again, have the fight end by knockout, and think that you saw a legal, legitimate fight. We know we didn't. We know the ref had an off day. Let's do it again. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Let the comments roll. Let's talk about it. From time to time, the powers that be, I'm sure, scour the internet to see what the boxing public thinks. Let them know in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.